Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to see if we can turn this old bit of wood left over from a previous fencing project, it's actually a bit of Aris rail, into a rain deflector for the bottom of the door. One of the things I'm finding at the moment is that the door is just getting a little bit stiff to open and I think what's happening is, is that water's penetrating the wood either of the door or the actual step and just expanding it a little bit. So let's see if we can get this fitted and see if it'll resolve the problem. My router ready to go. I've got various bits that we can try, as well as the old bit of wood already secured, hopefully reasonably firmly. Oh yeah, I think I need to secure the bench a bit more though. And hopefully, using all of these things, we can make that bit of wood look less like fencing leftovers and more like a rain deflector for a bottom of the door. But let's make a start and let's see. I think it would be handy if we had a little bit more room to work in it, so let's just move this around a bit. So after the first pass, this is now what we're left with. And you can see it's taking off the top of the bit of wood, but in doing so has actually created a bit of a valley, which I don't think is going to be very good for a rain deflector. So we're going to move from using this root a bit to this root a bit, which as you can see is a very different profile. And hopefully what that's going to achieve is just basically to remove this leading edge of the valley. So that hasn't actually taken off as much as I thought. I did want a little bit more of a curve to the edge. So uh, let's just see if we can improve that. And as you may be able to tell, this was very much a voyage of discovery for me. It was only the second time I'd actually used the tool, and I was trying to find out very much what worked and what didn't work. And certainly I was encountering the latter more than the former. But again, that's where practice comes in. Well, that's not exactly ideal, is it? But fortunately, with a bit of perseverance and thought, I was actually able to make some good progress and actually affect the cuts I wanted to make. But I did find though it was necessary to make lots of little tweaks as I went along, just to get everything where I needed it. Now that's starting to look a lot more like it. So we've got the holes pre-drilled now, as well as countersunk, although we have had a couple of chunks of wood come off. But anyway, we're going to have to fill that so it doesn't matter. So now we just need to pick the right screw to use. Uh, let's try that. I think that's going to work. So here it is then, just resting on the bottom of the door and the door step. But before we fit, a couple of things to call out. One, I'm just aware of the side of the deflector hitting the wall as the door opens. So we may have to trim this, but I am going to try and position this slightly to the right just to help alleviate any problems there. The other thing I want to do is I just want to raise it up slightly. So I'm just going to position it on this piece of wood before actually attaching it to the door. One thing we mustn't forget to do is just check the levels as well. And that is looking pretty damn good. Now as you can see, I've not tightened this fully and I've actually left a little gap. And the reason for that is I'm actually gonna put some sealant in between the door 
and the rain deflector. So this is now what it looks like fitted to the bottom of the door. However, we do have the problem that we thought we may. Oh dear, now not by much to be fair, however it definitely is catching and reducing how far the door can open. Now, what I'm actually doing, or what I'm actually thinking of doing, is actually just taking some of the material off the wall here, because it looks as though some of that has actually been added, as opposed to trimming the edge of this and reducing its effectiveness. But I'm going to have a little think and then make a decision. Well, decision made. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. The only problem is I'm going to need to do the rest of the door and the frame. Anyway, we'll save that for another day. Please like, subscribe, comment and share, and I'll see you again soon, back on the channel with some more videos.